Okay, hi everybody. Um, I, I just wanted to make a quick little video, nothing super fancy. Um, when I was researching trying to find uh, a better storage solution, um, I couldn't really find anything that would show me um, you know, that, that it was possible to do real-time editing off of the, uh, the GTEC enclosures. You know, lots of videos and sort of the articles I read about, yeah, you can do it and all of this stuff and super fast. Um, but I guess I just wanted to, you know, before I shelled out, you know, that kind of money, um, I just wanted to be sure, um, call the company and all of that stuff. But anyway, so here is just a quick video. Um, again, nothing fancy. Okay, I'm working off of two G Tech G Speed ES enclosures. Um, I have two terabyte hard drives in all eight bays. Uh, RAID 5 configuration, the eSATA cable connections into their uh, PCIe card, and I guess that's it. I'm running uh, Premiere Pro CS5. Um, these are just some outtake videos um, that I did for a really good client of mine to use on their website. Uh, this one is a, um, a shot with a Sony Z5U, and this is shot with a Canon 5D Mark II. Um, I made just a quick folder on the GTEC enclosures, and these files live there. Um, this lives there. The whole project lives there. So I'm just going to do a quick real-time edit right from the enclosures. Um, now my screen capture, uh, screen the playback resolution here is full. Um, the program I'm using to do the screen recording, I think records at like 10 frames a second. So this might look choppy to you, it looks fine to me. So we're taking that raw file right from um, the CF card, right off the computer, playing it, and it plays back. I mean, it's, it's seamless. I know it probably doesn't look that way to you um, watching it here, but anyway, I'm, I'm telling you that it looks fine. So let me just do a quick uh, little transition here just to make a quick change, and we'll play through that. And that was beautiful, no problems. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this back to uh, the G Speed. Export media back there. Vimeo HD is fine. It's going to be a 1280 um, final, so that's all cool. It's going back to where I want it. And export. <coughs> Excuse me. So this will just take a second. And, and really for me, again, it was just finding a better data storage solution. Um, I was sort of going through other enclosures that wouldn't allow me to edit straight from them. Uh, for example, a Photoshop PSD file. Um, it would live on my old enclosure fine and store there fine, um, but I couldn't work off of it. I couldn't take that file, drag it back into Photoshop, edit, make a change to that file, and then save it back. It just it would lock the system down and it wouldn't... I don't know if there just wasn't logic in the box or I didn't buy the right one or whatever. Um, but having storage, you know, a large storage bay that I can also work off of is really sort of important for what, uh, what I'm doing. So, um, I will take this video we just made and play it. And again, it's playing smoothly for me. I know it's going to look choppy to you, um, but um, it, looks, it looks great. So, there you go. Again, nothing super scientific. I just wanted to put something out there that shows it's possible to do it. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope it helps.